Hello everybody, Pat is here from the Scorch Design team and welcome back to another tutorial which is how to make shapes for your header in Adobe Illustrator. So yeah, this video is based on two ideas that I made in the past. One is for Parallax Studios and the second one maybe was for Joker Studios. Anyways. So yeah, let's get started with as the uh, header size, 3000 on width and uh, 1000 on height. Anyways, like that, let's go on a pen tool, let me zoom here a little bit. Okay, go like that, this base shape, uh, base shaped uh, pen tool, and yeah, press V, I'm gonna like, make just the stock have the, uh, the gray color, I'm gonna make the uh, stock about five points and uh, select it effect and go to distort and transform and transform so yeah here we're gonna play press preview and you're gonna just like miss up here I'm gonna just stay up the medium so yeah the copies is about how your header size is or background so yeah I'm oh, working on 15 the angle put it at zero because if you put it as I did on 74 uh, 47 it will get a little bit messed up so yeah on the vertical side it will like make it down and up and the horizontal side I don't know uh, recommend it <laughs> use it anyways so you can actually make this type of shapes like an aesthetic you can actually make it on top or on bottom as you can see or this like side uh, a little bit gap between them but yeah i do like to go on a 50 uh, 29 points and yeah uh, after that press ok and you can actually move the new shape you can actually select from wherever you want i actually just selected that so i can actually help me so yeah uh, I'm gonna just like pick it up here and you can actually get it to your Photoshop just by grabbing it and getting it into your Photoshop but here I am actually just like playing on my CPU cooler because it isn't working so that's why I'm gonna just put it like here so yeah anyways uh, wait I'm gonna talk with my lady okay anyway uh, we're like getting it on this corner then I actually I want to make sure I'm actually making it not obvious that i moved it so yeah uh, in adobe illustrator you can actually see the after like the after i don't know the header size after it you can actually see like outside so yeah i'm gonna rotate it here and actually move it from there and it won't look as sick as it to it would seem but still i just want to like get the the corners like not seen from the design so yeah that's why i'm getting it to the top so to make this design a little bit better i'm gonna go to the gradient so yeah this part i was legitimately trying so hard just to find out how to colorize that i forgot that adobe illustrator isn't like adobe photoshop so you must use like swatches that were have been given by adobe so yeah, I, I've been trying so hard right here, to be honest. <laughs> I'm watching my video and I'm having fun. So yeah, I picked a, a violet, not purple, a violet uh, color, like that. And the white side, I'm gonna pick like a pink, pinkish, purple, you know, like that type of color. So yeah, I don't want it to be a solid uh, violet, so that's why I picked violet to dark pink you got me uh, this pink is actually great and i loved it that i actually got a header done by it so yeah again doing the stroke at seven points or five points as i started and you can actually just make another shape with the same stroke and uh, gradient i'm gonna apply the transform just like go to effects and you can actually see it's the first option and I'm gonna get it to the corner like that so it can actually fit the the design because I don't want you guys to see like this type of stuff like what is left so yeah I'm, I'm done with here so yeah this is gonna be like well what text shall I do I'm gonna do it for our editor red thanks for editing my videos and thanks for being a great partner for me as a scotch pad anyways 
Wait, as a score pad. Anyways, I'm gonna just go with a Rami font. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like scorch red. I'm gonna make it like align uh, the paragraph as in the middle. And yeah, actually here <laughs> is another part. Where I tried so hard to make the the text like gradiented, but still Adobe Illustrator just like doesn't have this much features. Though, so that's why like people hate it. So yeah, I went just with a solid color, which was like a, a light gray, that was not far from white, and yeah, I'm gonna drag another one, another text, and I'm gonna make it like a dark, darker gray, a darker version of it, so yeah, let me find the positioning, and, uh, okay, dark gray, so yeah, select this new one, uh, I actually tried to do the command, but Got it. So yeah, right click and go to the range, send to back, and you got yourself a 3D type of text. So yeah, that's our first uh, shape tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. And by that I mean just one second. So welcome back into the other step. So we're we gonna make the best shaping. Anyways, let's get to it. So we're gonna need swatches. And we're gonna like go to make this type of shape. Uh, make it as small as you can. I'm gonna like do nothing at the stroke and on the fill. So yeah, it will be like transparent, non-visual. So what we're gonna make is uh, it's an ellipse, and we're gonna make it like either way. You're gonna either like make it a gradient or just a fill. I would like to make it a fill, but yeah, if you're a gradient person you're welcome to do so so yeah I've, I've been searching for something which is align uh, go to window and just like go to the align and press those two this and this one so you can actually make them align to each other on the center so after doing that wait let me like make this here okay so after that drag them and actually open swatches and drag them into it so we're gonna have like a type of type of like a layer style uh, in Photoshop. Here is this watch. So yeah, let me show you how it will work. So I'm not gonna do it like that. I'm just gonna go to make some grids. You can actually just make them by pressing Ctrl R and holding one until like you get to the center. Here in Illustrator, another feature that is missing, which is the center. You should activate the smart guides. Uh, I forgot about it in the video. Anyways, making like that uh, a, a good pen tool shape that I made for the Joker Studios. And you can actually see how great it is. You can actually go and make it like in Photoshop, you can actually make it gradient. -y, but yeah, in Illustrator, you can actually just make it like that. So it doesn't damage your uh, your file and your design itself. So the disadvantage of this shape is actually how it will work. As you can see, I've been testing like out a lot of stuff. You can actually just make it like that. Wait a second until like I finish this type of thing. Uh, sorry if the frames per second is actually low. I don't know why. Maybe the processor wasn't good enough here. Anyways. As you can see, it actually works on the space. So this swatch is like calculated each like two blocks got like two circles. And you will see the greatest example here. So once I pull this over like to the bottom, you can actually see how it changes. When I get it back to its place, it does the effect. So this is the like the disadvantage of this layer. Uh, don't wait, I made a mistake here. So this is the disadvantage of this uh, layer, which was actually, whenever you move it, you can actually damage and corrupt the design itself. So yeah, whenever you make like a shape, be sure to color, like to transfer it to Photoshop, just as I said, by holding it and dragging it into Photoshop, and actually edit it there. So you can actually make a lot uh, like uh, 45 degrees, and yeah. As you can see, uh, I actually made this shape. You can actually like make it 
uh, like rotate it or you uh, make it into a design as an overlay anyways that was today's video about uh, leave a like and a comment below and thank you for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial and hope you enjoyed this video yeah hey uh yeah one time for the pretty women two times for my brother's living three times for the city limits look yeah just landing back from anaheim damage rappers through my mind triples climbed within the newest time trying to reach my prime but i need a ladder to climb the questions that i'm asking let's relax and what i lack in the nutrition from